Community Conversation today, we're joined by Rebecca Kendall with Community Mental Health and Wellness Coalition. She's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve, and thank you as always for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Yes, we are always happy to have you. And this is Mental Health Awareness Month, the whole month of May. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this month and why it's so important that we recognize it. Yeah, well, Mental Health Awareness Month is celebrated in May and communities all over the nation are celebrating this month. We know that mental health has been a really growing concern, especially for youth and young adults, but really affects all of us. And in the last couple of years over the pandemics, uh, two out of five Virginian adults said that they had symptoms of anxiety or depression. So it really is a big concern. It affects us all. And, and Mental Health Awareness Month is a time that we can really um, focus on mental health, talk about it. By talking about it, we increase acceptance. We can share our stories. We can encourage people to seek help. We can share resources. And when we do those things, it really helps people to know and understand that there is help available and change is possible. Yeah, you're right. And it's so great to see it, how more and more people are starting to talk about it. And yeah. this is just a great month to be a reminder for people. Um, I know you have some special events coming up for Mental Health Awareness Month. Tell us about some of those. Yeah, we have a full month calendar of events. Uh, it includes virtual and in-person <laughs> events. So some of the events are movement groups, ways to move your body to increase your well-being. We have a number of arts and healing events. We have a number of providers in the community that really provide critical racially and culturally responsive care. We know how important it is for care to be affirming for people's uh, identities. And so there's a lot of resources out there that are racially and culturally responsive services. And then a whole lot of classes and groups and workshops to be able to help improve your skills in terms of responding to a loved one if you're concerned about them. Yeah, that's great. Uh, tell us a little bit more about some of the specific events that are happening. Yeah, um, well, coming up on May 9th, it's National Fentanyl Awareness Day. And uh, it's a day that we are gonna be doing training on overdose reversal. It's really a growing concern, the amount of fent fentanyl that is in communities around the nation. It's one of the growing drivers of overdose uh, in our community. And so we are gonna be doing a number of events, doing uh, training on overdose reversal and handing out free Narcan. That's great. We also will be tabling on the downtown mall on the 19th with On Our Own and some other organizations helping to share stories and share local resources. Awesome, so a lot of great and important things happening. Uh, finally, what can someone do if they're concerned about someone's mental health? Well, if you're concerned about someone's mental health, the most important thing is to have a conversation. Have the conversation with the person, share your concerns, ask them how they're doing, and then share resources. And so there's resources for crisis that you can see on the screen, but uh, if it's a not a crisis situation, the coalition's website is a great go-to to learn about local resources, and that's at helphappenshere.org. It's also where you can find our Mental Health Awareness Month calendar and information about National Fentanyl Awareness Day. That is great. Well, wonderful work you all are doing as always. Thank you so much for being here to tell us about it. Thank you. Yes, we'll have you back soon. All right. And Steve, back over to you.